What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another wig here that we're gonna fix up. I actually can't tell you guys what wig this is or anything because I got it at a thrift store for 15 bucks and then when I looked at it, I was like, the full lace, like it was also really soft lace, which is kind of hard to find. And I was like, I've never heard, like I've never seen this wig before. Like, what is this? And I looked at the box and it was a divaswigs.com wig and I've never heard of that brand. So I bought the wig. It was. $14.99 and when I looked it up, like their wigs are like upwards of $140 and I was like, oh my god, like I got a $140 wig for only $15, like that's great. Um, I don't know about the wig cap size, it does look kind of small so I'm hoping it'll fit me. But yeah, we're just gonna fix it up, style it, I don't really know how I want to style it yet but we're gonna see what it looks on and what I want to do with it. So yeah, let's get into it. So first thing, just because it is like a thrift store wig and I don't know who wore it, I don't know how people wore it like in the store, I want to like clean all the messiness, germs, bacteria on the lace. And to do that, I have a bottle full of like rubbing alcohol. I'm just going to spray all over the wig and like kind of rub it in and pat it down. Just get all the like gross human germs off of it. Now I'm gonna clean the lace and to do that I have a toothbrush and I'm just gonna dip the toothbrush in rubbing alcohol and just kind of scrub heavier on the lace just because the lace is where like all the glue and the makeup and everything goes so you want to make sure it's like extra clean. Now I'm gonna put the wig on, brush it out, and see how we feel about styling it. Okay you guys, so as I kind of expected, the lace is a little bit small for my head, but it's not too terrible. Um, I Holding it, I was hoping that the hair was at least 130 to 150 percent fullness and thickness, but it doesn't seem like it. Up at the top and the front there's a good amount of hair, but in the back it's like kind of thin back here almost like they were like no one's gonna see the back like who cares I care <laughs> um, but it's mostly pretty good what I want to do first is straighten it out and just or not straighten it out what I want to do first is brush it out and then um, see how the curls look after they're brushed out and see what I can do to help fix it So after brushing it out, it did get a little bit like frizzier, kind of more natural. To be honest, I don't like it this way. My natural hair is very much just frizz and lion mane -y and I hate it. I just want it to go away. So I'm not gonna keep it this way. I think what I'm gonna do is turn this into a wig for a Crazy Jane cosplay from Doom Patrol. I've been watching that show a lot. I still haven't read the comics, but the show makes me really wanna watch it. She basically has 60, or 67 personalities and each personality she has has a different superpower so like one has super strength the one has like lightning powers one can shoot fire it's all crazy stuff i she's super cool like super badass and that's kind of what this wig is reminding me of so i think i'm what i'm gonna do is just curl it up and kind of mess it up just to to give it that kind of vibe that she has and use that for still a quick little cosplay for that um, so first things first, I'm gonna curl it and then I'm just gonna maybe not brush the curls out fully but like kind of separate them and just make them look really messy and kind of dirty. Also start with heat protectant all the time, no matter what. I almost forgot that.
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna separate the curls, mess them up, and then tease my hair kind of like more in the back and the sides and just a little bit in the front because Jane has the very like goth punk like vibe. So her hair is kind of poofy in the back and then messy down in the front. So that's what we're gonna do. Just separate everything, rough it up, and then I'm gonna get my rat tail comb and tease. And the best way to tease you guys is to take a section, comb down, and then pull out. Comb down, and then pull out. That way you're creating a section of volume instead of just combing everything down and letting it sit. All right, you guys, this is the finished look for the hair. Crazy Jane, goth punk girl mess. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen Doom Patrol or you haven't read it, or you don't know anything about Crazy Jane, I totally recommend like looking her and them up. It's a really great show. The characters are all really fun. Jane is a really interesting character because they don't let you know a lot about her, but you can see a lot of, about her through the way her personalities are to each other. Super cool. I totally recommend it. Um, I'll put the link to Diva's Wigs website in the description, but I could not find this hair on it. Maybe you guys can. Maybe it's sold out. I don't even know how old this wig is. There's literally just this part of the box in it and that's it. Otherwise, it's just a white box. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to take our relationship to the next level, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll have links to all my socials down below and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.